With the Minnesota Fighting Vikings waived rookie six-round pick defensive tackle Jalen Twyman on Monday after the former Pitt Panther reported to training camp after being shot four times a month ago. Some saw it as the Vikings doing Twyman dirty, but it's the exact opposite. And we did up a video at the time saying that this needed to happen to get him onto the non-football injury reserve list, and it was going to be the best for his career long term. Twyman cleared waivers yesterday and now reverts to the reserve list. Will Raggett, Sports Illustrated. Jalen Twyman, as expected, cleared waivers and is on the Vikings reserve NFI list. He'll miss the first eight games of the season, if not the whole year, but this allows him to stick around, get back to 100%, and get acclimated to the league. So a couple reasons why this is great for Twyman. Number one, he gets his full 2021 salary of 660 k that, That's really nice. Number two, uh, even though we love the heart of him showing up with his fellow rookies a month after getting shot, he's likely not near 100%, and that could have impacted him making a push to try and make the roster or the practice squad. Number three, Andre Patterson mentioned that Twyman had put on some bad weight trying to bulk up uh, during the draft process, uh, and it was why that he was so sort of whatever at his pro day. So he can shed that weight and get back to that that lightning bolt that put up 10 and a half sacks in 2019 at Pitt. I love that first step at three tech. Number four, he can be in the building. He can learn from Andre Patterson, Michael Pierce, Diesel Dalvin Thompson, Sheldon Richardson, all great mentors to learn how to be a pro's pro. And number five, 2022 could be his year. He'll be at the right weight. He'll have a full year away from being shot, uh, a year uh, of being a pro under his belt. And Sheldon, back on a one-year deal, will probably be somewhere else. So that penetrating three-tech, that first quick step, pass rushing downs dude, that spot is going to be open, and Twyman could fill it. So it's a free roll for him. I'm sure he could come off the NFI after eight weeks, but I'm betting on seeing Twyman in 22 at full power. And I love this kid, man. Like that draft call where he was crying, all that emotion, and just thank God for being drafted, and I can't wait to be a Viking. Just the heart and hustle on every single down, every single play is the Alamo. I love it, man. I, I do love it. I'm rooting for Jalen Twyman, and who knows? He he's still might get a ring this year. Woo! I love it, man. And then 2022 is going to be the year of the Twyman. That is right. That is right. But your thoughts, Jalen Twyman clearing waivers and why that's the best thing for him, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. My support that work post on the Venmo, but until next time, Skull Production Value.